Just days before Thanksgiving, a Metro East family is now preparing to bury a 13 year old. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Mike Bush. The teen was killed in a drive by shooting Saturday afternoon in Washington Park. Several of his friends were also hit by gunfire. Just a few hours ago, the 13 year old boy's parents talked to our Robert Townsend. Mike and Ann, the heartbroken parents of Johnny McCline say the past 72 hours have been the hardest of their lives. They cannot believe their young son is now gone. Meantime, tonight, police are still looking for the boy's killer. He is the baby of my five kids. Keisha Davis says her baby, 13 year old Johnny McCline, just wanted to have fun with his friends on Saturday. Davis says Johnny rode a bus to Washington Park and then he and his buddies went to this convenience store near 45th and Buncombe Road. He was leaving the store getting snacks. Witnesses told police just as the boy and his friends were walking across the street, someone in a white Jeep Grand Cherokee rode by, fired multiple gunshots at the teens, and sped away. Johnny died in this vacant field. I think it was mistaken. I Dignity. Paramedics took her son's three wounded friends who are 13 to 15 years old to area hospitals. He wasn't even out here an hour before he got killed. It's pretty hard. I, I can't talk about it without crying. I'm so hurt. Johnny was a seventh grader at Clark Middle School in East St. Louis. Johnny was a good kid, man. Good grades in school. He got along with everybody. He's so funny. and He just, he's brightened up anybody day. Illinois State Police have not determined a motive for the shooting. My baby girl could have been dead too. Neighbor Shanika Turner says a random bullet tore through her daughter's upstairs bedroom wall where one of them was resting at the time. These kids can't even walk to the store, come out here and play outside without gun violence. I don't want nobody else hurt. I just want justice for my son because he did not deserve this. Tomorrow, his family and friends will hold a balloon release in honor of McCline. Now, police are still asking anyone who knows anything about the shooting to call Crime Stoppers. Robert, thanks.